Hello, my name is Matthias Adolfsson. You might know me from uh, the internet, maybe Instagram, maybe Facebook. Welcome to my studio. It's very simple, just a table or maybe two tables. Uh, one for ink and one for watercolors. This is where I usually make uh, all the ink stuff. It's uh, usually much more untidy. And this is part of the ongoing projects I'm working on at the moment. So it's just a big pile. This is my sketchbooks, uh, or some of them. Some here that uh, the space is uh, running out. This is where I put on the colors. Very simple techniques, it's just analog stuff. All things I do, it's always done with just fountain pen and watercolors. And I seldom do anything on the computer, I just scan it in. I share the space with my wife. Her working space is over here. Yeah, it's, that's more or less the start. Okay, I'm going to speak a little bit about my recent projects. I'm making a new kind of package for this company who makes baby blankets with my motifs on them. This is made for a Swedish magazine called Dagens Nyheter and it was a three-part illustration with Spotify. Dagens Nyheter always want me to make those kind of machines, so when they want a machine drawing, they they ask me, so it's almost uh, all exactly the same illustration I make for them. This was made for the New York Times. As you see, it's a lot of machines, so a lot of my customers, they really want that part of my uh, creativity, the machine part. So for me, it was really important because when I got this commission from the New York Times, it really felt like it's okay, now, now it's for real. Because it's always some kind of dream making something for the New York Times. It's, it's a machine as well. Uh, it's made for a, also an American magazine and it's called The Baffler. So it's, uh, it's for the spring 2017. This large drawing made for a jigsaw puzzle for a German uh, manufacturer. So this is some kind of fantasy house. In my fantasy I can make uh, all the space I want. So it's our family who lives in this place and it's meant to be like lots of different stories. You have to write the story yourself. I really enjoy doing these kind of very busy scenes. When I draw, I just come up with the things when I go along. I don't really have a big plan from the beginning. It's more like uh, all the drawing is some kind of uh, a journey for me. And this was made for a Norwegian railway company. So it's used in big posters. Take took details of the drawing and it was supposed to teach travelers how they should react when traveling, stuff like that. This is for an American rock band called Dance Gavin Dance. I made all their record sleeves. And I have a lot of fans from this band who always ask me, do you like their music? Uh, how is it to work with them? Most of my customers, I just get a mail and we have the communication on mail. Now actually it's more that people tend to have some kind of telephone meeting, but this is just online. This I made for my publisher's magazine. My publisher is called Sanatorium and it's also one of those busy scenes that I really enjoy making and it's, it's actually my workspace in some kind of fantasy. But that's probably how untidy it is most of the time.